Prime Minister. Uh, Secretary of State, ladies and gentlemen, welcome all. A big thank you for taking the role of leading the next stage review. And what's important about this review, unlike any other review, is the following. First of all, the opportunity to design what a world-class health service will look like in the next decade. Secondly, and more importantly, it needs to be clinically-led, patient-centered, and evidence-based. Ladies and gentlemen, next summer we'll see the 60th anniversary of the NHS. And I think it's a, an occasion not just to celebrate uh, the National Health Service, but to renew it for future years. And today, uh, one year before that anniversary, is the right time to launch the first stage of Aridazi's report on the future of the NHS. We asked uh, Lord Darcy to set out the immediate steps we as a government must take to achieve the NHS we need. And I believe that you will find his report a compelling vision of the future in which quality is now central to everything that we do and in which clinical evidence is at the heart of the decisions that we must make. We're seeking to take the NHS from good to great, world-class in all aspects instead of just some. With investment in place, staff numbers expanded and waiting lists down, we can move on to the next stage of the NHS journey with you, the clinicians, very much in the driving seat. People with mental health problems don't get good access and, and people with learning disabilities get even worse access to, to acute care. We can come out with it, all the wonderful plans in the world, but unless we're actually engaging commissioners at a local level, it will all be for naught. We tend to be content with services that don't generate us a problem. Um, that may not actually be the best service from the patient's perspective, it may not reflect the best evidence. And social services will say, you're driving this onto us, you're driving care into the community out of the acute sector, where is the budget and how are we going to resource this? If you look at the transfer of patients with major trauma, there is clearly a trade-off in terms of benefit going to a bigger, better equipped centre versus the downside of, of travelling. It seems nice to have a fresh opportunity to actually drive change. It sort of imbues you with that enthusiasm to want to do something about this. It's really positive that we're getting clinicians to lead the way we're changing the NHS in the future. The different thing um, this time around um, is the involvement, I think, of representatives of the public and people that use the services. It's more about what's relevant to us locally than what DH thinks we should be doing. It involves the decision making to the, to the local level. I think in the past it's always been about hospitals, hospitals and hospitals. It now needs to be about what the patient wants and trying to keep it much more local for patients. It's um, a real chance to actually make a difference and change things. The challenge is to make it real yeah. because we've got a lot of principles but actually driving it through and delivering it, translating it to what happens on the ground, it's going to be a real challenge. We've got a government that wants the NHS to improve and we've got this opportunity to bring our clinicians um, in to actually sort of lead that change and I think it'd be foolish to not make the best of that.